In the beginning, he hid himself under tyrannical wings, for they promised him luminous light for his life and peace for his career. But his mind was sleeping, frustrated by the burning sun of African dust. Sant's breeze vainly recognised under the leaden sky how much he desired his first spring love. He wanted to know the truth about life, but he felt he was missing the way things really are. But once he saw 5,000 mothers who combed the partings of their sons, 5,000 mothers with hair white as milk from almond cream, Sant's breeze met with life on the edge of a tomb and woke up his heart in the hot bath of red poppy seeds. I don't know what led him on to such revelation and spring alarm. He commanded 5,000 typewriters to scream out the burden of his heart. I do not know what led him on, but in that dark night, he stood up for the Jewish side. I don't know what led him on, but 5,000 typewriters angrily wrote a dispatch about coming back and a honeyed life. It happened one day over in the opposite camp. 5,000 gramophones obscenely danced just for the pleasure of themselves and the sorrow of the rest. There were times when Sant's breeze made no sense. Why fake friendship with criminals? For save I must, but sacrifice my smile into the throat of murderers? No, I will not do that. My smile is so young and must not be smothered with shame. But before everything was done, he mourned for his smile, which would leave him when he arrived at the soiree. Smile, friend of immature age, the witness of innocence from first child steps. Smile forever melt away on the altar of shame. In the morning, he awoke and said, we will do it in the following way. I will give you my smile and you will stamp 5,000 travel documents. It was a soiree as early as 10 a.m. and exactly at 10, local time, burdened with heavy heart, he sent his smile into the depths of hell. At this horrible 10 a.m. local time, 5,000 gramophones obscenely shouted into the fizzing wine from Hungarian grapes. It was at this soiree, as early as 10 a.m., Sant's breeze saw in his brain how the sun glared on the Sephardites above the rattle of trains in the top of the cork and olive trees. 5,000 descendants of Hungarian Jews sing a song of two rails and five million cross-ties. 
5,000 sons and daughters as early as sunup do not think about the buried smiles of Spanish diplomats, Breeze in Budapest, Miotta in Paris, Rajas in Bucharest, and everyone else who disappeared into the endless night. 5,000 mothers bring up children of the fourth generation, the generation of provenance, of the rattle of trains, born in the dream of coming back. Generation of olives and corks, from oak tree bark, generation of the sweetest honey life. It is unknown. Sans breeze somewhere in the galaxy looking for his smile, forever lost on the altar of time.